Next up, Florida Atlantic. FAU Owls, Lane Kiffin's a bunch. Went five and seven last year, three and five in the uh, Conference USA. Returning starters, they got six on offense, five on defense. Look, Kiffin's bunch went eleven and three in twenty seventeen. Looked like they were the next big thing. They dropped to five and seven last year. That was after they replaced offensive coordinator Kendall Browles with Charlie Weiss Jr. The Charlie Weiss Jr. was not the problem last year. They also had to replace their defensive coordinator. Uh, the offense was number fourteen in the country in total offense. But they scored 31.1 points per game. That was down from 40.8 in 2017. This is their third defensive coordinator in three years. Uh, Glenn Spencer, this is Charlotte's old Correct. defensive coordinator. Uh, they they were number 22 in total defense last year. Uh, the defense has talent. Quarterback Chris Ro- uh, Robeson, he was suspended the entire spring. Uh, he's a transfer from Oklahoma. He He can play. So we know that he's good. Uh, Indiana transfer, uh, Nick, what's his name, Tronny? Tronty? I, I don't even know who he is, but he apparently he looked good in spring, according to all the reports. And now they've got DeAndre Francois, who is going to be a walk-on, but I don't even know if Francois is going to be able to play. They got talent across the board. It is whether or not they're going to know what to do with them. Okay. Right? I got them 9-3. and three. I know. And I got them 7-1 in the this, division. This is and I got them are. winning the division. <laughs> Way different. I got them winning the division. They finished 5-7 and seven last year. I got them 5-7 and seven again this year. I, I like this team. I don't love this team. I got I, them losing I, the first two. I like, I like Lane Kipton. I don't love Lane Kipton. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll, laughs> never mind. We'll just leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. All right. All right. And I mean, I've, obviously, at Ohio State, they get UCF at home. You th- it, any chance they can pull a? No, nothing on that one. Huh? All right, I've got them losing at home to Marshall, but I got them don't, winning everything don't, else. Don't question my American love. Uh, now, listen, you'll never, you'll li- never question my American love. Listen to this schedule. I mean, they got at Ball State, Wagner at Charlotte, Middle Tennessee at home, at Old Dominion, at Western Kentucky, Florida International at home. At UT San Antonio and Southern Miss, all of the the Hard. lesser teams yeah. are on the road. That's the right. tougher games are at home. The difference is that is sets I think, up well. I think those tougher teams are just big. At, like they'll beat you at home too. Like it's just okay. 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 It doesn't mean they're gonna be trash. We five and seven. Five and I, seven I think, is not an awful record. I think Charlie Weiss, Jr. His offense was pretty good last year. They they failed in some scoring opportunities. Uh, my, my but issue, I think the defense gets significantly better with Glenn Spencer. I don't know that we can. I don't know that we can define definitively better. Just just because we don't know we don't know what's going to happen here. My problem with a Lane Kipton coach team is always going to be the same thing: just the lack of discipline that anybody is going to have. And now you've got three quarterback transfers that all have issues. Yeah. Now, now, dude from. Illinois, whatever. I don't know anything about that guy. Or Indiana. Like, I'm not playing any of these. Issues. Francois got issues. All right. Quarterback from last year's got issues. Okay. Th- this is my issue with Lane Kipton teams, which is why I'm going to have a hard time a month and a half before season starts ever picking them to do anything. They've got to prove it to me. They just have to. I can understand. And that. right now they haven't. The reason I thought it was cool that they won 11 games last year or two years when when he first got there, that's great. But I didn't think that was repeatable. I just, I just didn't, because teams that are undisciplined just don't do that. Defense was number eighty-five in the country last year, four hundred twenty-four uh, yards per game. At scoring gave up thirty-one point eight points per game. Like I, they're going to be entertaining. They're going to be and really Lane, entertaining. And Lane is awesome. And I don't think get that me in wrong. this conference, in this division, I think that they can. I think they can win this division. And you are correct. The schedule does set up well for them. Yes. They got to win those home games. Yeah, I think if I, I think if I use good, I don't know that you're just going to say well, if they use good or if, if I use good. Okay, you, I don't know that you can just say, well, we get them at home, so we're going to win that game. Like I, I don't, I don't know well, about last, that. Last year, Florida Atlantic was five and seven. They beat the brakes off if I use. That's right. That's right. So I mean, it's it, these things can happen. I'm not. I think that's that is the game on the schedule that that Lane looks at. Because that was who everybody you're, compared them to. You're right? probably right. You're probably and and that's Butch. 
That's, yeah, I don't think it is, matters that as is much a guy to Butch. that's been coaching forever. You're yeah. right. That matters more to Lane to beat him than it does for Butch to beat Lane. Cause, exactly. Because Butch doesn't know who Lane is. Yeah, pretty he, much. He, he just thinks he's him kid. Pretty much. Pretty much.